So are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go. All right. All right. Hi, everybody. This is Jason Priggy from Coffee on the Coast of the Coolest Coast, and I'm here with my friend Heidi Dahlberg. Good Hi, to Heidi. see you, Jason. Nice to see you, too. Heidi is the marketing director of the Lakeshore Wind Ensemble, and we were just at a Lakeshore Wind Ensemble concert just recently. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So what are we talking about today, Heidi? Well, I just wanted to share about our season. We're sharing our passion for music this year, and it's been incredible. We've had four concerts, and we've had just artists coming and sharing the stage with us. Linda DiRamondo, she's an aerialist from Manitowoc. She was at one of our big band concerts. We had Marty Erickson, who plays tuba for Lawrence University. We also have um, a hometown favorite, Emily Kozlowski. Yes. As you know, she just sings amazing when she opens her voice. Yeah. You're just like, wow. So she, Broadway singer, she was at our January concert. So Very, very cool. So yeah. what's the next concert coming up? Well, we have three concerts left, and the next one will be in March. March 7th and it's featuring our young artist competition winners so it's a scholarship competition solos they play they get fifteen hundred dollars I think a thousand and seven hundred fifty dollars wow. for scholarships yeah cool. so we have a Lawrence University student playing uh, Becky Swanson and we also have UW Milwaukee student Adam Nelson playing French horn French horn are they both French hornist is that a thing French hornist <laughs> did I say that right are they both do they both play the French horn I think Becky plays saxophone. Okay. I'll have to check the website. Make All sure. right, yeah, and you can check the website too. So let's talk about that. Yeah. If people are curious about the Lakeshore Wind Ensemble, what is the website they should go to? LakeshoreWindEnsemble.org. Cool, and we're gonna put that right down here too. So tell me about the other concert. So that's coming up this next week, March 7th, hurry up. And you can get tickets, by the way, uh, at cccshows.org, correct? That's right. Yeah. We perform at the beautiful Capitol. They're yeah. gracious hosts, we love it. The Capitol is amazing. If you haven't been in there since the <laughs> rental, you need to get in there. Yeah. And this is a perfect opportunity. Mm -hmm. So after March, what concerts do you have coming up? The Lakeshore Big Band, they're so much fun. They have invited the Lincoln High School Jazz Band. So that's going to be Very phenomenal. Cool. We love having all the young musicians on stage kind of working with some of the people have been in the band for like 37 years. They helped found the band 37 yeah. years ago. So it's super fun talking to them and hearing their stories. So Lincoln High School's coming in spring at our April concert. And then our last kind of shebang of the year is in May, American Salute. And we're gonna be honoring all the veterans there with Salute to America's Finest. And we're also having the Capitol Civic Center Community Corral, directed by Jim and Susie Miller. Of course, yes. Who you of course know. And then the Door County Choir will also be coming for it. So it's going to be wow. tons of musicians sharing the stage, all sharing our passion for music. That's awesome. And yeah. that's going to be in May. So do you guys have like a fundraiser that you put on uh, that you want to talk about at all, like during the year at some point? Well, actually, we have... I'm throwing you for a loop because that wasn't in the, <laughs> that wasn't in the uh, we have official questions. Donors and patrons who have been coming alongside the Wind Ensemble and donating for years and they're recognized in our programs. These are Lakeshore Wind Ensemble. You might see these fancy colorful posters throughout the year. <laughs> but we highlight all of our donors. Oh, sure. And that is how those scholarship competitions take place. Excellent. Yeah, and we also have advertisers who we're so grateful for to help with the programs. Yes. Um, the other awesome thing coming up, I almost forgot at our March concert, is Wayne Wildman is receiving the Wesley Tepley Community Service in the Arts Award. Oh so, my God, yeah. I've known Wayne since I was knee high to a grasshopper in Sheboygan. And he uh, did such a great job with the Manitowoc mm -hmm. uh, Symphony Orchestra. Yeah. I'm so happy that you guys are honoring him. So what is yeah. that about? Wesley Tepley was a patron in the arts and this award has been given out for 37 years. Wow. And yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, we're really so excited. So getting to honor Wayne him. back in the Capitol, right, for an award. That's yep. great. Cool. Well, if you want to find anything out uh, more about the Lakeshore Wind Ensemble, mm -hmm. please go to the link, uh, the website that I have here on the bottom, or go to the link that I'll post within the comments of this video and support the local arts. We have Heidi and I were just talking before yeah. we started rolling the cameras. We have an amazing pool of talent here on the yeah. Lakeshore. I mean, it's really phenomenal. We have it a, is, yeah. for a small town like ours to have the Lakeshore Wind Ensemble, the Symphony Orchestra, yeah. Maskers, 
so much talent, so much talent, and it's all at the Capital Civic Center. So stop on by and check out the next Lakeshore Women's Ensemble concert. Absolutely. Cool. Thanks, Jason. Awesome. Thanks, Heidi.